Okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> Greg, you know, we had him on the Go Throw Show, the GK Go Throw Show the other day, and he's got a lot of good feelings coming into this world championship. I'm really interested to see how Greg plays throughout this thing. He's, you know, he's done it once. He knows what that feels like. Yeah. He definitely knows how to win. He proved it at the world championships in Vermont on those very difficult courses. He has the skill set to attack these ones as well. This looks nice here out wide. Oh yeah. Wow. And that's, that's a great shot. That's kind of what players are trying to do. Sneak around that hill, maybe get a little bit of love off that shorter grass. That's a tee box on the golf course there. Mm, Greg getting that one to stick. Two for two. Good way to start out your world championship right here. Six slow mo from GK. And Greg, the hot start. He's got those pit vipers on. He's come to be known for that look. Barsby is I well, most this. likely going roller. Yes. Wow. This he's is got nice. He's got the fence to protect him from going OB here, right? Yeah, he does. It's it's a genius play, yep. honestly. Yeah. It's not going to go left. If it goes in the bunker, it's coming out. Greg will tell you himself. He doesn't have that 550 foot hyzer, and this needs to chill out, hook up, and it does Ooh. just in time. Peeked over the fence and said inbounds for me. So he'll have an angle over there, maybe a sidearm look at it. It's going to be sitting um, somewhere around 330 feet, I'd say. This needs to sit. Go in! Oh, my goodness, Avery! Oh, my gosh. I mean, did it go through the chains, dude? It just hit high and spit you out. You think so? I think so. Oh. Nearly dialing it up, Avery Jenkins. Yep. I mean, the guy is a talent. Yeah, really good, watch. really good thrower of the disc. One of the best ever. Oh, my Hey, gosh. and Joe stealing a stroke just like that. What? That's how you do it. Just around the tree in the bread basket. Golly, he's no stranger to playing at elevation. He's got that putt dialed. If you go high, this is a tight line. AJ's showing you that you can... Ooh. He did that pretty well. I thought he was going to go a little too far left there, but the disc came down nice and quickly. Yeah, I think... What is this? Left to right downwind. Steve Rico from the bunker. Cash is a par putt. Big par putt. Yeah, that is. Nice little leaning stepper from him. See the shoulders relax as the disc comes to rest in the basket. Really cool slow-mo. Really? This looks so good. Oh, my gosh. Go in the basket. Good shot. Glad that didn't catch cart path or that would have been way further away. I'm not quite sure on that, but I do know for sure it is in the rule book as wow. like a general rule. It's very interesting. This whole plate is so much harder earlier in the day than it is right now. It seems much more calm. As you play these holes and you, whoa, Greg, no, what? I'm sure that was like a layup play. Oh, oh my no goodness. Way. <laughs> it was a layup oh without a doubt. We were already talking about it like it was in the water. <laughs> it was like, yeah. what happened there? It jumped out. That thing looked like it was going out of bounds. And then, wow, so, a nice turnover from Joe there. That's a technical shot right now. It looks like they're playing a downwind. Right to left. Yeah. This looks great, too. Oh, wow. my goodness. What a shot. You've got a one meter by one meter spot to land that if you want to put it that close. Barsby's throwing that finger pop. And he slips that putt in there. He's wow. running everything. <laughs> Dude, that body Why English. Is that? that is amazing. He had the lean on it. He had that world championship lean. Yeah, he's not afraid of any basket right now. I think it's that jump putt. He must be so confident in the jump putt. He says when his putting gets hot, 
There's no reason he can't win these things. And I don't think you can even go with this basket. He's about 400 what? feet away. What? This man's wild. Are you kidding me? So good. Great shot, Joe. That spotter trusting that no bad bounces were going to occur very <laughs> early with the green. Be a close call anyways. Wow. Hello, what a Steve. Sick putt. Barely in bounds, turns it into a birdie. Let's get the replay full extension. Slow mos with mountains in the background, dude. Oh my gosh, that's the disc golf I love. Yeah, they hit a sweet spot. You want to play something with some height here? Ooh, I like this. Oh. Almost acing it. Wow, catching a bad reaction, but staying in the circle. Dustin Keegan's been playing great golf lately. Appeared on Skins recently. Yeah, we had him on Skins. That was a ton of fun. Awesome guy. He's got so much power, too. Just a sneaky, smooth player all around. Yeah. He is showing you what it kind of looks like to go up the right side of this fairway. Not what you're trying to do, but a lot of discs still find themselves close. Going to stop your disc, usually. That's the goal. Looks to be a tactic out of Dustin, and it just jumps into the wood chips. That's a base job. Yeah, that's perfectly played. This is Kale's Watermelon M2. Somewhere around 300 feet away. Yeah, Bushnell gave it to us, 297. Yep. Nice. There are many ways to attack it, I suppose. Um all involve creativity and all also involve a little bit of luck yeah and, and the line is blind to you so you're throwing it up there i mean this is this is perfect the touch from kale right there i think it did hit that slanty tree late it's gonna leave him about 40 45 feet but just to put it this one's good yeah nice couple jumpers from dustin Let's see this again, yeah. Slow-mo with the cotton falling from the cottonwood trees. Look at that hand, full commit. Just a, a door opening up straight at the bucket. Displaying great mental game as well. Oh, yeah. I think that's an FD3 from... Oh, my gosh. Dustin, boy. Yeah. showing you exactly how the line is supposed to be played. Well, you know he's going to do it. I think there's like maybe five people throwing this in the tournament. Oh, my goodness, Kale. Of course. Yeah, I'd say a little bit more, maybe more than five. To the right. This looks great, though. Oh, yeah. That it is. Right Ooh. up to 25 feet. Eagles putting for birdie. Nice work on the catch cam by Bob. See how aggressive Eagle wants to get it's a cloud breaker and that's the full treatment if this thing can get to hyzer and skip yes it can oh yeah i'm guessing he'll be jump putting from there that's crazy that is displaying so much power there was people cheering all over the course today it was just fun to hear sick putt from dan Stand still, 45-footer, hearted. That's the way you do it. Wow. Pure. As the cotton falls. Those slow-mos are so awesome. Please tell me we're getting this distance because he bangs this. Go. Oh, my no. goodness. He didn't you didn't know about that no i didn't i definitely didn't no he didn't tell us well good oh my gosh right in the heart 87 footer that's stealing one that yeah. was a forehand roller to get him to that position that is a scrambling man's birdie there yeah well, there was just a bunch of big numbers at the end of the day mm. yeah there's an eight you know, six sevens. That'll do it. Dustin Keegan from outside the circle. 
really showing all around how good of a putter he is. Yeah. This is his third jumper of the round. It's just really clean. He's minimized any movements that are unnecessary. He just puts it online, up and down. Good spin. A lot of stuff you can learn from Dustin Keegan. Be dropping in a par. Here's Kale. Kale. Not afraid. Oh my gosh. You'd see him just jacking himself up to make that one. This is great stuff that we're seeing right now. Kale's playing really good golf. Wow. Top 10, top 5 golf all day. Yeah. Yeah, when you have the confidence, the steel to run putts like that, yeah, walk it in, son. Nice and slow for that backhand route. Wow, that was really impressive as well. Wasn't it? Using the backstop too. Great shot. Mountains in the background. Kale going spike hyzer. I like it. It's Ooh, perfect. Yeah. That tree seems to be in the yes. way from the tee box, but people are having a lot of success with the spike hyzer. Right. So as as Dan's disc is going away from the hole, Kale's is continuing to be closer. Wow. No way. Keep on going. Oh my gosh, that's the best drive I've ever seen on this hole. Monster drive. I love that people are being so rewarded for going backhand off of the tee here. It's so much more dangerous, so. Dan's standstill forehand power. What a shot. <laughs> Crazy. Had to hit a small gap from awkward footing as well. Just lean back like that on every putt, man. He's just drained them when he thinks they're a little short. Making them all. That's huge. This dude's playing with a purpose right now. He's played a lot of world championships. He's won world-class tournaments all over the United States. Maybe this is his time. He threw a really low and direct shot. If Eagles 355, he was probably 370. Oh my gosh. Too easy. That is Eagles shot in his sleep. Ridiculous win, played bogey free six under. Just a, a different condition than the, these guys are about to see. That's what you're going to see when you tee off at such different times, though, in disc golf. That's right. This one hooking up perfectly. Monster distance from Reiki Waisaki here. We're looking at 550 feet into this slight headwind. That was huge. I threw it real high, real hyzered, and it kind of looked like it flattened out and pushed as it... Yeah, it definitely landed like a putter, and they've got a tailwind here. It makes sense. I, I'd say that is a veteran play from Ezra there. Great shot from Greg. When you hit that tee box area, if you don't have the right speed control, you can find yourself skipping long. I like this one. Best line of the bunch, I'd say. Oh, man. That was so close to an ace. Nearly rang it up. Almost as perfect as you can do it. He might still have that tree just in his way. We'll see. And if you go out of bounds on this hole, you're going to go to the drop zone, which is pretty much a guaranteed four and even a possible three because it's a jump putt. Players are going to keep that in mind, and you'll see on average people get a little bit more aggressive. That's exactly what you're trying to do there from Ezra. Sure is. Never was in doubt of going in the water. Followed the, the landline the entire way. If I'm Rick, I'm saying just not short. Oh, my. Right into the heart of it. That was a nice stroke. Sometimes that's all it takes. See how he responds to this. Full extension. This is where Rick separates himself from other players. Dead center. Sick replay from GK. Still very professional hyzer here. Mm-hmm. Extremely far. Ezra has the power, though. And if you have the power, there's no reason not to go for it. I'd say it shapes really nicely. But you also see a lot of people just lay up. Take an easy three. That looks pretty good, though. Give him a little roll, too, no? 55 feet. Maybe 50. 
it would have because apparently the black is what's out of bounds so yeah so you'd have to go through barbed wire and a black fence to be out of bounds chances are low that happens this looks good nice shot from rick right to circle's edge Ooh. greg busting out one of his eagles just gonna rip that flat line this is just awesome oh my gosh just sit right there oh that is so nice amazing from greg that's got to be the best play too the most optimal play just the straight at it yeah he threw it so hard it disappeared now oh, there it is mm. Look, looking very good looking pretty middle 565 feet it doesn't matter where you are on this hole if you're that far it's gonna be easy greg really has one tree to beat here it's that dead looking one gets around it what a nice sidearm diced it up straight through him what is this stone roller don't hate it he's so accurate with his Making the Mando pretty... Oh, my gosh. Pretty repeatable, I'd say, with that. I think... That's edge of circle. Is that a D6, or is that something... Is that something more stable? I know he's, he, he rolls... D6 really is for sure. And stuff. Yeah. I feel like if it was the D6, it would have gone a little faster. Ooh, that's that skip you do like. Greg, almost all the ah. way? <laughs> wow, yeah, you just don't see that skip very often. He hit so early, too. Is that the play? I mean, Greg is known for being ridiculous, so it could be his play. There we go. That was smooth. Yeah, I mean, he's been all over it all round, not finding the middle of it every time. I think we're seeing the conditions calm down a lot, too. Didn't look like any wind at play on that disc. Rick's going to putt a lot better with no wind. We all are. Yeah. Rick's putt has evolved so much over the years and it's come to a point where it's like it's just a natural stroke for him surprise surprise not testing the trees but when you don't test the trees usually you test that left side ob mm. not ezra how easy can you make it look you know Dude, so up and down with that one over under 1.5 birdies kev quick one under quick. under okay i'm going over and i think ezra just parked it <laughs> that was a great one. Oh my gosh base job over under 1.5 dude we got like 100 on this right we didn't say but oh my gosh or a thousand and that ditch is safe oh that is news to me yeah wait and he just he gets to take it on that side no way on on the closer side yeah why i think it's because of where it, it entered if it had touched on the other side of the ditch would have had to take it over there but because it entered there that's where he takes it from it goes to show you learn something every day i think i've seen a, a similar rule to that um but i would have chalked it up to casual relief which is immediate relief behind mm. whoa 478 yeah i mean ricky is so far from the pin here and that's needing to sit down just testing oh way too much there. that's 400 and 30 feet of pure hyzer forehand? Yeah, he's got that. Whoa. Especially with the way he's played so far. Not to pr not to protect anything. That is the good boy. If you're hearing the barks in the background, he's mad that we're recording. He's not in the room with us. <laughs> what in the world, Hogan? Not usually like that. Greg going with that stable fairway trusting it out over the water oh this looks brilliant absolutely smashing job from whew, greg smashing shot there <laughs> smashing that was really good though this looks good from ricky let's see how the distance is nice that is perfect wow closer than he might even have wanted so good Fairway driver play from Greg Get is back, baby. Awesome play. Oh my goodness. Challenged the water the whole way. Spotter got a good look at that one. 
I think the putter play plays really nicely. This is an Anheuser play. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. that was so close. I feel like to not being good, but thank goodness it's perfect. What a reaction. It was just high enough. If that's a foot lower, it's who knows what it's doing off the rocks. Oh, my gosh. That's Whoa. so close. Going pig here. Ooh. Pig has got to be one of the best discs for this shot. That's pure. That's the pure line. Really short hole at 200 feet only. Ricky going wide here. I Ooh. didn't think about that. Oh my gosh, getting it all the way back. I think that's, I mean, he made that look so good. Yeah, he did. Semi surprising number. Okay. Pretty good shot from Chris here. Gonna give him a look at the Thanks. basket. Oh, and Rick becoming one of 12 people to grab the birdie here on hole three. You know he wanted that one. Beautiful slow-mo. GK. Love what Gabe does with that camera. If it would have S down the, the fairway and then skipped to the right, it would have opened everything up for him, put him in perfect position. That is the ideal play. Chris throwing an M3, I believe. Yes. Exactly how, probably the I mean the best possible result for an M3. That was amazing. This is headed directly to that spot we're talking about. Look at that. Oh my goodness, Ricky. It says landing zone on that. He's gonna zoom in right on it. <laughs> Yeah, that does oh say gosh. landing zone. Is that good? <laughs> Did I break it? <laughs> Rick's going to love where he sees that. You can't see it from the tee, obviously. All you can do is the best that you can. Oh, my gosh. This is even better. It does. Needs to hang straight. No problem. Dude, that's the best one I've seen. Two incredible first tee shots here. Kale. Can he follow? Yeah, he's not lacking for a good line. Holding the pose. <laughs> Looking gorgeous. Dude, these guys are making this shot look easy. No kidding. Kale with the possible backhand approach. He looks like he might be right in line with that landing area that I was talking about. Just inside there. Oh, that's pretty pure. much laced it. Wow. <clears throat> Man, it's a great feeling when you see your disc parked on this hole for birdie. <laughs> it is. Have you had that feeling yet? Yes. Nice. One time. Oh, a, a huge hey. birdie putt. Nasty putt from him. Real clean form. Yep. Kale told me he put in two or three hours last night just on his putt. Wasn't satisfied with how round three went. When somebody like Kale puts in two or three hours in the night, they can really show it. Yeah. Chris showing you a route that many are opting for, and that's going to work Whoa. very well. Fantastic. Got to get a little skinny as it gets close to the green. Yeah, it does. Just look there. Ricky going AVR or rock? Maybe rock. I think KC that was like Pro rock. 10 time rock there. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Trees may be in his way. Edge of circle though. Not the A B we're used to seeing. Oh my gosh, look at that. How small was that gap? Please so tell small. me. With a spin putt to kind of put it down on the Anheuser once it gets through there. Through the 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 leaves as well. You could see Rick's lips start to turn into a grin as that thing was going just past those leaves. Mm. Very tricky shot, but Ricky's the best scrambler mm -hmm. in the world, arguably. Yeah. That was great. Let's see if Chris can make the adjustment. He does. You don't even know it's in until you see it finally rest down there. Yeah, you can't see the whole basket, or the whole cage from where Chris is. Oh, that was pure. Yes, 
Yes, it is. He dropped it in there. Show of athleticism. Okay. I'm the Tennessee native. You pure this gap. You throw it out there. Let it fade for the four-handers. And yeah. Chris hits it pretty well here. Going to make it over that fence. And that's going to give him a mm. great look at the basket. Yeah. Guys are throwing anything from, you know, like gators, um, kind of fairways to uh, full speeds as well. And the rules force you to throw something aggressive. Oh, my gosh. That's as good as you can do. Yeah. FX2 from Chris. He throws that thing far, man. That was a world-class shot. One of the best shots that will ever be thrown on this hole. Keep turning. Oh, my gosh. Good thing AB smushes the disc. Incoming, Bob. Speaking of best shots ever thrown on the hole, oh my that is gosh. up there in the farthest shots ever thrown on the hole. Oh, wow. Clear yourself out a foot. A foot path. Uh, look at this. Oh! Almost gosh. up and in the basket. It's hard to catch the skip from that from that shot it a is. lot of discs just die right there not chris's almost goes all the way in I, that shot that anthony just threw was out of this world from awkward footing it's really double punishing when you go out of bounds there because of the footing that you're given anthony just threw a standstill to the flower box Ooh, <laughs> this is great see how the distance is caught a little bit of a Leaf there, taking off some Ooh. distance, but not much. Inside the circle. Anything inside the circle is so good. Yeah, true, Kev. He could still get up and down from there. It'll be a long one. As long as you stay pretty central. Oh, yes. Amazing how late that disc is flipping up. Yeah, it's like a sweeping hyzer. Yeah, he sweeped it out. I love it. I love that shot. Sweeped it out way to the right side of the fairway. He's kind of using that as like a wall. Mm pretty technical thumber route that Chris is lining up. Thumber with an understable disc so that it turns quickly. Ooh, perfectly done. Showing you why he won the skill challenge this year. Yeah, what, skill what shot it? champion. Skill, skill shot, shot world champion. champion. Excuse me. This is a great play too. Needs to get clean. Oh! oh. Oh my goodness, he basically threw it out over that crowd, over the OB Creek, nearly acing it in front of all those people. Would have been a legendary moment. What a treat for those spectators. That's perfect. Oh yeah. Let's see where this skips to. Oh my. One of the further shots you'll see on that hole. Goodness. I'm not sure if that is a great spot though. I don't know, I've never been there. Yeah, no, I don't consider being there, that's for sure. The shot is a 400 foot shot. Right. The way that we're bending it. And he throws the line perfect, but, and he, th he throws the line perfect. Oh my. <laughs> With a pig. All right, I'm gonna give it 350 feet. I wouldn't say so. I would say they're going for whatever they're comfortable with. In this case, we've got this headwind here. So you're gonna have to pick something that you trust. Hopefully people are trusting their signature discs. Go in. Ooh. You saw the shadow on the basket there. Just in front. That's an A3 from Kale. Beautiful shot. The the inbounds at that point. Yep. And then playing it all the way back to the left side of the fairway. Huh? Oh my gosh. Look at this shot. That's something special right there. What? That is further than any forehand has ever dreamed of being on this hole. Agreed. Need, oh yeah, there's that good wind action, park job. It's the easiest party that's ever been had on this hole. I like to have no problems there. Playing a fantastic tournament to this point. Really cool to see him up this way. Backhand plays nicely on this hole. You're going to play yourself just a little bit left of the pin because unless you want to get frisky with the trees on the right side. It's the time to do it. These guys need to make a push. They want to have a chance to win this thing or place top 10. They got a lot of guys right below them. Mm, Kyle, that's a great shot there. That was aggressive too, hanging it 
really far out there to the right, but that's what you have to do if you want to get basket high. Yeah, that disc was over the water for 490 feet of that drive. This is looking similar. Hopefully it doesn't catch that tree line out there. Yeah. I did find that. Oh, my goodness. Ezra might have figured out this hole. I did find that you can actually throw this hole a little bit lower. Yeah. You just have to get it out there and commit it. Yeah. So in a field of 80 and change, see how many we can get. That's perfect there. Disking down, prioritizing landing in the middle is what these guys definitely should do. Kale going a little faster than Ezra, but this is that disc that just continues to flip. It seems like he's going to hyzer out left there, but that thing just straightened up constantly. Both those guys so accurate. Look at that crazy angle from Kale. Similar oh disc from the drive. Gosh. Even that two full flight discs and he's still got 70 feet. Yeah, he is golfing, though. That is an easy par and even a possible birdie attempt. This is perfect. It is. Oh, right yeah. on the landing zone marker. Mm. Kyle showing us how it's done. That is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That's the birdie play from Kyle Klein. Outside route, skipping over the logs textbook after that perfectly played tee shot he still had so much work left yeah oh that looks good that is amazing circle's edge for kyle looks like it that's a great shot it's it's a uh, consistent though with the drop zones you find on this course just not very penalizing that's exactly how you throw the forehand Ooh. i expect that to be really close as is based I liked the height on it. We've got a little bit of a drifting left to right wind out there. Wind in the woods is extremely difficult. Look at that huge putt from Ezra. Saving par. What a scramble. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, man. Sick slow-mo from Gabe. GK's killing it with that, and so is Ezra. Wow, early right, hyzer around, that's 55 feet, of, I don't know, Yeah, 50. Easily. I said the drop zone was 45, it's probably a little further than that. Just needs to ride, get to angle, not the worst. He'll be able to advance that around the corner. A pretty good distance, I'd guess. Yeah, probably, I mean, for a good distance, we're talking 150 feet, mm -hmm. 200 at most. Oh, he likes it, too. Oh, for good reason. Are you kidding me? Shoo, that was a great shot. Dr. Smooth striking again. Just got to manufacture something in your mind. Be creative with it. Yeah, that little gap is small, too. Oh, gosh. Dropping bombs out here. Greg Barsby pointing to the people in the creek. We said he got a little greedy. Paid off for him. Could it be more perfect? No chains needed. There's a bunch of guys chilling in the creek right there. Loving what Greg's <laughs> bringing in. That's awesome. Got a kick out of it. Yeah, they were in the creek, across the creek. Just rooting you on. Oh, again from outside the circle. Huge putt from Greg. He's had the putter working all week early early tree contact it no did. problem no if anything it took one percent off it would have been dead center otherwise and then it was just in the heart this time very crazy with it you saw kale almost ace this route yesterday throwing a really slow stable disc that Perfect. is amazing what a shot again take some creativity a nuke from the big guy. Okay, this is guaranteed four different angles. This is next level. 
Wow. No way. That is not great. Okay. Is it safe? It is. It's through it past it? That line um, does not exist. I don't even know what to say right now. And this is where Ezra's drive landed. Okay, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around that. So he's right by the out of bounds. He was trying to make it there. Oh my god. Without gosh. a doubt. It had to be. That is furthest drive on the whole of the tournament. Guaranteed. Go. Let's go Kyle from, I don't know, 70 feet, 80 feet to grab his par. What a wild hole that was. I put him at 55. 55? I think so, right, Luke? That's like 30. What? And then that's like another 25. Oh, my goodness. What do you think, Bob? 45, Bob says. <laughs> and I think I would take the under on 55. Like I said, it's a 100-footer. <laughs> it was a great putt. It's in your mind. Get over him. Ooh, it does. And it's parked. What a nice shot. A lot of people opt for a sidearm here. Kind of throwing it out at those trees and then bringing it in towards the basket. It looks good. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tactic from Kyle. He's so good. That stable putter for him. Kale piped one yesterday here. This is understable full speed driver. Still flipping. <laughs> the late turn on it was so good. And right in the middle of the fairway, kind of where a perfect sidearm would like to land. Mm -hmm. yes. What is Ezra doing over here? He didn't hit anything. Off oh person. my gosh. Mark. It's broken. The hole is broken officially. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Until depth, you don't know what you're looking at exactly. And if you don't commit to your line, you will definitely find out of bounds. This is a pump from Greg, though. Giving the fans something to check out. Sit down. Sit. There you go. Yes. Yes. Spotters. One of my favorite spotters of all time. Kyle going glow FD3. So I guess he is, yeah, something like 320. This looks perfect. Oh.